Well, happy birthday. Taylor Marshall here. It's not my birthday. It's probably not your birthday. Maybe it is, but today is September 8th. It's the birthday, liturgically, of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, this date, September 8th, is nine months after December 8th. So December 8th is the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It takes nine months to bear a baby. So her mother, St. Anne, liturgically gave birth on September the 8th. And this is the day that we celebrate as the Blessed Mother's birthday. I'm going to share with you famous image of the nativity of Our Lady depicts St. Joachim and St. Anne, Mary's parents, and it's painted by Pietro Lorenzetti. Pietro Lorenzetti is the artist who did the murals inside St. Francis of Assisi's Basilica in Assisi. I was just there a couple months ago, and they are beautiful. They're stunning. And he's the same artist who made this depiction of the nativity of Our Lady. And there's a lot of great theology in it. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to pull up my computer here so we can look at it together. So what you're seeing here is a triptych. A triptych is a triple image. You'll see the main uh, painting there in the center and then the two side images. Triptychs, uh, the idea is there's three images and they can the two side ones can fold in and cover up the image for purposes of Lent. In Lent, as you know, as Catholics, we veil our images, and this was a great artistic way to close up images and triptychs, though not all triptychs actually close up. And another image in the triptych tradition is that it's a trinity of images. There's a threeness involved in there. And if we look at this one, we'll see right away that in the center is St. Anne, the mother of the Virgin Mary. And if you look at her hands, they're making a triangular, tri triangular arrow that's pointing downward to the Blessed Virgin Mary. There she is as a baby. She's modest. If you look there, her legs are crossed. And she's looking out to us. St. Anne isn't looking at us, but the Blessed Virgin Mary as an infant is looking at us. Now, if you go to the left-hand side of the triptych, you'll see Mary's father, St. Joachim. He has a halo. He's dressed in red. And a child is coming out to tell Joachim, hey, congratulations, your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the future Theotokos, is born. She's healthy. And Joachim is sitting next to a gentleman in an orange robe with a black beard, and he's looking out at us. And my guess is that might be a patron who will pay for this piece of artwork. You can see that Joachim and this man in the orange are sitting outside. You just look behind them, and you can see a courtyard. So they're outside the room. Inside is St. Anne, five women who are attending her and the baby and Mary. So inside the room in total are seven people. Seven's a holy number. And if you look above them, you'll see a, a classic Gothic uh, vaulted ceiling, blue with stars on it. It reminds us of the Gothic church in Rome, Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. And this is depicting that the birth happened at night. Now, St. Anne is enveloped. She's surrounded by a white fabric. And this is signifying that the child that she has given birth, the daughter, is pure. She's immaculate. She is without sin. The bed is in order. It's made. It's folded. There's a treasure chest, a chest just beneath St. Anne. I believe this signifies the treasury of graces that the Virgin Mary will bring into the world. And down below, we see two women who are washing the Virgin Mary. In the Old Testament, boys were circumcised, and of course, girls couldn't be circumcised, but both boys and girls received a liturgical mikvah, a liturgical washing. I talk about this in my book, Crucified Rabbi, and that's what the Virgin Mary is receiving here. After birth, she's being washed. And then in the triptych on the right, you'll see two women, they're holding um, cloths, and they're going to they're gonna come in as soon as this uh, washing is finished to towel her off and to put her in her swaddling clothes. And there's a interesting woman in red, and she's holding like a flag. It could be a musical instrument, but I think it's some kind of banner. Uh, the position and the look reminds me of St. Gabriel from other art, so I think it's maybe evoking maybe an angelic witness, but this, this figure here is showing praise and honor to St. Anne for having successfully given birth to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So everything going on here, we have a Trinitarian structure. We have Joachim outside, he's sainted. 
And then we have St. Anne in the middle using her hands to point towards the Blessed Virgin Mary. And notice the only people in this triptych who are looking at us are the Blessed Virgin Mary. She's really the most important person in this image. And then this strange fellow over here in the orange with the beard, he's looking at us too, probably because he paid for it. So there's a little theological reflection on this great image painted by Pietro Lorenzetti. I hope you have a great feast day of Our Lady. And maybe if with your family, if you have kids, make a birthday cake tonight for the Blessed Virgin Mary. Make it a white cake with white icing and teach your children the importance of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is the mother of Jesus. And by the law of God, we should honor both his father and his mother. So happy feast day and God bless you.